Daniel Gagos from RiderAthletics.com here with head softball coach Corey Lyon following another doubleheader sweep over Harding coach. It's a four-game sweep overall. Uh, your team grinded it out in that first one. We're down one nothing going to the bottom of the seventh. You get a, a very clutch hit out of Matty Dow to score the two runs to win the game and then turn around in that second game and really your offense flicks their muscle. They're 13-1 uh, to one winners. What do you see in today's doubleheader that you like? Well, you know, the one thing that I that I have been preaching and that we've been preaching with our kids is mental toughness. You know, let's be mentally tough and, and let's, you know, we, we've talked about it several times, you know, we're going to we're going to trust the process and, and in trusting the process we're gonna we're, we're going to get the outcome that we want. You know, we've been a lot of these tight situations and you know some have gone our way and, and but we've you know we've had our fair share that haven't and uh, so you know to, to be down to your last out and, and obviously the hit from Maddie was clutch, you know and I was kidding with her after the game that you know when people ask me why number 34 is hitting the two hole, that's why. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, she's she's as as good a hitter as there is in college softball right now, in, in my opinion. And and uh, but you know to have you know Kim Wheelahan, who's you know just now starting to get her her moment in the sun as far as uh, being a full time starter and an everyday starter, you know, to be down to her last strike and find a way to to get herself on base, you know. She gets on base. Brooke comes through with the base hit, um, and then Maddie does the rest. And you know, so that it, it's it's having a, it's having that mental toughness to be able to fight through those times when uh, when when things aren't necessarily going your way. Um, you know, that pitcher's good. I mean, you know, she's she's going to win a lot of games, and and she's good. So you know, to be able to beat her twice this weekend, um, and then you know, the other thing that we've talked about is consistency. You know, uh, we've been. The last couple weekends, we've been up and down as far as real good in certain games, and then turn around in game two and, and, and let there be a drop off. So, you know, the biggest thing is from uh, day one to day two, no drop off as far as our level of sense, you know, the sense of urgency that we had, and then from game one to game two, uh, you know, coming off a big win, we didn't, we weren't, you know, we didn't, it's like we weren't satisfied and we stayed hungry and, and uh, even, you know, got down one to nothing, and uh, but then came back and, and ended up, you know, piling it on and, and uh, that's that's what you want to see you want to see your team when you have a chance to win and you have a ch chance to finish the game to finish it so that's what I'm probably most proud of. Second weekend playing at home another great uh, atmosphere as far as the crowd the weather you know wasn't cooperative as far as the sun being out but how much does that help your team knowing that you've got all the support you've got stands are full left field and right field fence are full of fans I mean that that's I mean you know, when I got this job two years ago, that that's the vision. You know, the vision is being able to have a full stadium. You know, to be able to have all of the bleachers full, to be able to look out and have those guys, you know, standing out behind the fence. And you know, a, a home field. We all love a home field advantage, and and this is one sport where you can truly have a, a home field advantage. And you know, having seen the crowds that we draw for baseball and the things that that um, they've been able to do for. For the school and really for us too, you know, it's been able to generate excitement for us, and and then seeing the success that the other programs have had, and you know, one of the things that we've been that we've really tried to do is to make sure that the other programs know that we support them, you know, the football team, the volleyball team, the basketball teams, and and so in turn, you know, to see the football guys out here, that that's awesome. The Lions Den, I mean, you know, a, a group of guys that comes out, you know, they come to practice, you know, they come out to practice, and you got a group of guys that that uh you know are out here cheering on the girls every day and uh you know that that's 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 special that's how you build you know that's how you build the tradition and uh it, it's pretty awesome and, and like i said i i couldn't you know couldn't ask for any anything more and uh and you know i think it, it gives us a uh, an opportunity to really use that to feed our fire you know we, we play a lot off of our energy we play a lot off of our enthusiasm and and having that support um, makes it a lot easier. Thank you very much again for your time. Uh, another two big wins for the Southern Arkansas softball team. They complete a four-game sweep over Harding University and conference play. Daniel Gagos from RiderAthletics.com here with freshman designated player Maddie Dow. Maddie, you yourself had a very impressive offensive day. You uh, really helped your team get this doubleheader sweep over Harding in game two. Overall, it's a four-game sweep. We'll go ahead and we'll talk about that first game. You had uh, the game-winning hit. Team's down to their last out. A couple, uh, couple batters get on in front of you. You're not really getting much to hit, I think, in that at-bat. They leave one over the plate. You go ahead and serve it into right field. Talk about your approach in that at-bat. 
Yeah, well, the at bat before they got me out on a low and out pitch. So as soon as I got two strikes, I knew that's where they were going to go, and that's where they went thankfully, and just hit the ball. You know, you're only a freshman. You know, a true freshman. Uh, there's there's three of them on this team that you guys are hitting one, two, three in the order. You're right there in the middle of it in the second spot, but you guys have been producing offensively. Do you guys feel like freshmen out there, particularly in that kind of a moment? Um, I was definitely nervous whenever I got to the plate, but as soon as you know you get in there and you just focus in on the pitcher and what she's going to throw, and you just do what you've been doing your whole life. You know, you just get up there and be a good hitter. That game-winning hit uh, leads into the second game, and, and your guys' offense exploded. 13-1 to one win. You had a, a couple of more hits and two RBIs in that one as well. Talk a little bit about how you guys or your team is able to build off of a game-winning hit like that to where you come out in the second game and just go on a tear offensively. Yeah, it's definitely a confidence booster. If you can hit your way out of that situation, you can hit your way out of any situation. So I really think that propelled us. You know, we came in here, we really hit the tees and soft toss hard, and then we came out and we were ready to hit that second game. We appreciate it very much for your time. Again, Maddie Dow, a big offensive day for the Lady Mule Riders. Big game winning hit in the first game and a couple more RBIs in the second game as the Lady Mule Riders complete doubleheader sweep over Harding. Thank you.